as I say here, negative. And think about life and shit like that, bro. You know, I start thinking about what be going on in this life, in this world, man, and people who, you know, who looking for destruction of the world or just be looking to control the world and shit like that. And I just, you know, and and I just be thinking while I'm sitting here naked, you know, you know. Just everything now. Just looking at it. Just looking at myself and shit like that, bro. You know, got used looking at this. Looking at my size like, damn. I need to lose the rest of the weight. But the man downstairs, you know. Other than that, you know, got to lose weight. Because it don't look right, but it, it could be some little working. Well, as I see it, nigga, and thinking... I start looking at the man downstairs, and I'll be, and, and being the black man, I'll just be feeling like, bro, sometimes I'll be blessed, bro. Like, I might don't have everything, but just being black, bro, it could be blessed, bro. Like, like man, I, I'm just looking at it like, 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 bro, I'm just blessed. Like, I ain't got much. I ain't got everything. A lot of stuff ain't going for me. A lot of stuff taking too slow, taking a long time, taking off and stuff, but it's getting there, you know. Lips chop, hair everywhere. But I still look decent, though. I still look handsome, you know? You no, know, I look good, though. But as I'm sitting here naked and I'm thinking, and I'm looking at the man downstairs as I move my stomach out of the way, I be looking like, damn, that's a lot of people. I ain't blessed, bro. You know? That's a lot of people in this world. You know? Just don't have it downstairs. Now, everybody talk about the man upstairs or what's going on with the man upstairs, bro. You know, and they feel the man upstairs can be everything else. And that's what you need in order for you to strive in this world. But they don't really think about the man downstairs. What? I'm sorry, I just went out. <laughs> you know, that lets you know that you ask your man, you know, to separate the the boys from the man. On top of that, se- separate the women from the man. You know who you are. Just by looking down, that you can see, bro. And now, now some of us have to do extra things to look, you know, but some of us don't. You know, some of us just look at it and they can be proud, you know, for the blessings they have, even though they don't have much. But they still could be proud of the blessings that they have downstairs. Because downstairs open up doors for you, you know. You know. Downstairs change the way your living style is. So on top of that, if you can find the right one, find you the right female, I'm to my things change for you, bro. You know, you can go from homeless to having a roof over your head with food in your belly. Being introduced to family and friends. On top of that. If it don't work out with her, her family, somebody in her family might want you. Or somebody, uh, one of her friends might want you because of the stories that they heard about you in the bedroom, you know. And it feel good, you know, when you bless downstairs and you could do certain things like literally the man downstairs can get you out of certain situations. And how do you do that? Make your life better, you know. And it feel good, you know, because I've been in plenty, 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 plenty of situations where I didn't know what I was about to do. And then I start thinking with my dick. Oh, my bad. Thinking with the man downstairs. And before I know it, bro, life got good, you know. Nigga, I went from being homeless to having a roof. I went from being at shelters to having a roof. I went from... Bro, to going to parties, getting everything paid for, shit, getting food, getting, getting, getting house keys, getting car keys. Damn, they had a business. Just by thinking with the man downstairs, bro. You know, I got some dick stories, you know, that changed my life, bro. Like, bro, like, 
But I ain't know what was gonna do. I ain't know how I was gonna eat. I ain't even know what I was gonna stay, bro. And I started thinking with my dick. When I started thinking with my dick, my life get my life like like started getting better. You know, like shit was changing when I was thinking with my dick, bro. I had to say it, but God damn, like, bro, when you blast that downstairs, it's like, man, life is good. So anyway, to go back to the story I was thinking, you know, I wanted to talk about, I see why some of the people in the world want world domination or want to destroy the world or take over the world or be fucked up towards people, bro. Because they ain't working with nothing downstairs. All they have is this upstairs, but they don't have nothing downstairs, bro. You know? And it's fucked up for them, bro. And that's why they hate life. Because they went through life, had to be smart and intelligent and academics more than anybody else, bro. Because they didn't have nothing to work down there because it was too embarrassing. See, when they was looking down there, they thought every man was supposed uh, to be like that. Until they went into the shower, started seeing different, you know, some man sane or a little bit smaller. And they thought, and then they got more confidence, no homo. They got more confidence from that. Like, you know, maybe everybody's supposed to be this. And then they ran into the the black man with nothing to offer but the man downstairs, but the dick downstairs. And watch how his life changed and how he succeeded life just thinking with his dick. And how they succeed in life just thinking with their brain. How a nigga like me can come through your city, your town, whatever you from, and start thriving through life while you stuck in life where you at, bro. You know? And that's why when people were, let's just say man, no homo, they ain't working with too much downstairs with the man downstairs. They, they they seek out or wanting to destroy anything or anyone who got something to work with downstairs. Instead of them feeling confident in themselves and build off that confidence to get better, you know, to help out the qualities that they lacking downstairs, you know, they instead they want to kill and destroy things, especially men, other men downstairs that's working with some downstairs, you know. And I want to thank God, because I remember, I remember, like, I went from nothing to something in a matter of the days, in a matter of the weeks, a matter of the hours. Shit, I met females on the first day that bought me a bird. You know, <laughs> I met females that wanted to give me money. Shit, I, want, I met females who wanted to buy me, bro. Of course, I made females who talk shit, but I wasn't interested in them. I just wanted to get my nut, and once I got my nut, I was gone. I never seen them again. I'm cool with them. Shout out to y'all. Y'all know who y'all is on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, TikTok, maybe YouTube. I don't know. But, man, I remember some days, sometimes, I was going through it. And I just said, fuck it. I just started thinking with the man downstairs. I just started thinking with my dick. When I started thinking with my dick, my dick changed my life, bro. My dick opened up doors for me, bro. When I started thinking with my dick. I'm up away. Let's just go to the notification. Share that video, bro. If you bless downstairs, don't worry about life. See, they they always say this about women. You know, well, women got vaginas. They can go anywhere. Huh? No. Man with dicks who bless. No homo to you. But if you bless downstairs, the world is endless and it's possible. So stop thinking with this and start thinking with that. You never know thinking with that get you out of your situation faster. I'm up away. Still think with the brain, but every now and then you got to think with the dick, bro.